This was a fucking joke. Okay, but that's Okay, stop for a second. No, 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 Let me finish no. my thoughts. It's not even that bad. It's like a quarter okay. of some of the other people. The fact that you can't, after all that, you couldn't wake up to anything, go. Hi, my name is Alex. I'm 26. I'm from Houston, and this is Financial Audit. Welcome over to Austin. So I want to know what you do for a living here in a second, but uh, honestly, this thing right in front of me, this document right here, it's one of the more like, what the f have I ever seen in my life? You made a decision, my dude. You made a decision. And I know I'm jumping in right away, but I mean, this blew my mind so much that I can't not talk about it. The car, the car that you have, you had a what? You had a loan on it that was what, like ten thousand, something like that, thirteen thousand, and then you refinanced it in order to try to take some cash out, leverage against the car. Ended up getting a twenty-one thousand five hundred sixty dollar loan at twenty-nine percent interest rate. Twenty-nine. Is that that's, a, that's like insane. That that is one of the most insane interest rates I've ever seen on this show ever. You took that out. Amount due, $938, which is double because you're getting extra charges in here. What is that? Late fees, probably? You're probably late on this. And the car, the car, in tippity toppity condition with your VIN number that you provided for us, at the top, at the top, is worth $8,734. You're upside down, dude dramatically upside down in this car and you took it out and some of the money is to sit in your checking account so i'm just I, I, i'm sorry i know jumping in right away with this but this it legitimately blew our whole minds and we have one person who goes through all the documents make sure they're redacting things and putting everything in spreadsheets and then we uh another person that reviews everything making sure re redactions are good and uh puts together your entire financial picture then we all sit down we all look through it and then we just try to fully understand your situation and come out with a plan and every time we did this every step of the way we we're like what the f so what the f um <clears throat> yeah it was a bad decision oh <laughs> oh um i feel like immediately like after I, I regretted the way it was done originally. Why'd you do it? You went from 13% to 29%. Yeah, 13 to 29%, yeah. And I was paying 430 and now, well, the starting rate is uh, 692, and then I called them because of my um yeah the 900 is i don't know why it's like that i already called them and asked them and they said that it was wrong but um i, I mean it has other charges i don't have the second page of this so i don't, I don't. yeah oh, no i don't um so originally the monthly charges are 692 and but then i did i called them asking them what the option or what the process is if I did a, a voluntary repossession. Well, I was considering it. And so because they didn't want me to do it, they lowered my- Well, no, of course not. I mean, they, they're they making more money off of this. Why would they want yeah. you to do it? Yeah. Why would you take their advice regardless of what you're doing? Well- They're the money people. They're the, I want money from you people. They lowered the monthly cost to 400. Oh, no, but what else did they do? I don't know if they modified the interest, so it's probably f***ing me with the oh, interest. Oh, probably not even that, but maybe the term got extended. Probably. You don't know when the term extends to? You don't know, like, the well, loan uh, um, length? It was. It's probably, like, five years. So it's probably back payments that you haven't paid is what brought it up to that 938. No, um, I don't know why it showed like that. Like, when you look on the app, it says that the payment I owe, which is my second payment, because I did this recently. Um... It is at 400. It's not 900. I don't know why it's like that. What's your normal payment? 40461 now? Now 402. Yes. How is that different than that? How is it different than what? Then $900? No, 40461. How are you at 402? Like how is it different than the document I'm looking at? Well, cuz you said it said 900. No, look down at the payment. It says 404. Oh. Yeah. Is it the 40461 or is it a different number? It's 404. What is what is the car? It's a Ford Fusion. Year? 2017. And oh it's really 
fucking Clever. under. The negative equity is Buddy, It's fucked. not even close. But why did you do it? Because I was unemployed for six months. And so originally, like in my folder, I save like loan offers that I get. And the loan offer was offering me 21000 Oh, no. Why do you do that? Uh, because I need money. Oh, what do you mean? Just saving loan offers that come in the mail? Those are the most predatory f loans ever. Other than walking into a payday loan place. Is it a bigger th than being un like? Well, we can talk homeless. about that in a second. Well, sure. I mean, let's. Okay, fine. What was your job before you lost your job? Before I lost my job, I was a remote call center representative. How did you lose your job? They severanced us. Okay. How many? How many weeks or months of severance did you get? So they gave me six months of time frame. I was applying the entire time it was hard because six months severance no no they didn't give me six months so they paid me out i think around like 6k okay how many weeks of pay is that um they didn't frame it that way how many weeks of pay is it though based on what you were getting um probably three months okay wow so that's half the time you're unemployed what happened during <laughs> the six months you were unemployed um, okay, so I just want to first say that uh, I had found a job. The, the like catch of it to get the severance payout was to stay until my end date. And so it was hard because I was trying to find a job, but I also didn't want to find a job too soon. And so I did find a job, but then we were incompatible and then I got laid off from that employer. Y'all, this is the time to switch to my favorite high yield savings account. With SoFi, you can get 4.6% on your money. I hate when my money is just losing value, so make sure you're keeping up with inflation at the very least. You can also get FDIC insurance on that money up to $2 million with them. Plus, they'll give you money up to $300 when you set up an account with them. There's even extra perks like being able to get paid a couple days early. SoFi is what I use when I'm setting money aside, and it is the banking app of the future. Sign up, link in the description below. I always want my money to be making more money, so don't lose money on yours. Incompatible how? Um, I didn't like the way they ran things, and then they didn't like what I had to say. But, buddy, we're just, we're just... At that point, we're just trying to collect a paycheck and survive. I, I want you to get into the culture you want to get into. But if we're on the brink of you said the word homeless, if that is in the conversation, we don't go into a place uh, and the first thing we do is, you know, I think the company should be ran this way. That's not what I mean. Like, OK, for example, the trainer, he was making fun of the sexual harassment training. He's like, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. like he wasn't taking it seriously. And then he cared like that character carried through in so many other areas and so like he wanted to scare us in like with our tests when we were doing tests he would he would like make it seem like we were gonna get fired if we lost the test or like if we failed the test and so i'm like that's stupid and the issue that i Who'd had you bring it up to no i didn't tell like that wasn't the issue i kept that to myself but the okay, issue so was is that um i have certain disabilities so i had to shut off my camera and so they said that I was shutting off my camera way too often. And they well, thought- Maybe it's in their- It has to be on, but obviously like if I have a disability, I'm like, I'm gonna go handle it, you know? So- um, Noah, take a look if that is covered <coughs> by disability. Well, when they laws. fired me, um, they used different reasonings um, and they completely disregarded what- What like, were the, the reasons they said? Huh? Um, so they had pulled me into a conversation and they were really aggressive and they were like, you keep shutting your camera off. And so like, if, if you do this, you're going to get fired. But I told them, I'm like, I have a disability. What's your disability? Huh? I have overactive bladder. I have asthma and I have like allergies that trigger my asthma. So, and that requires you to turn off your camera when I go to the restroom, you're taking it into the bathroom. Huh? Okay. So the way that a call center like remote call center job works is they want you hardwired they want you like your headset to be hardwired to the computer yeah i don't follow those rules because i have a usb-c headset that is wireless so i am not but it's the rules i'm still meeting their requirements but you said it was the rules if you're not following the rules, you're not meeting the requirements. I'm not saying the rules make sense, but a company is allowed to choose their own rules. Okay. Well, they didn't know that, so it doesn't matter. But um, 
what's it called you're the one that got fired so maybe it does well um so they didn't know that i was still listening whenever i would go to the restroom they didn't know that i had a disability either because i feel like it's hard to navigate that and being open about it um but that's no offense i'm sorry like i i i uh sympathize with your position but for anyone to ever be upset for uh, for anyone to ever, one camera. second, anyone ever to be upset as someone for not proactively doing something they didn't know about based on something they didn't know about, that's kind of f***ed up. If you didn't tell them, how would they possibly ever know to cater to it? Well, I did tell them in the meeting when they came at me like, okay. oh, well, like you're if you do keep doing this, you're going to get fired and instead of having like what's going on. That's how stuff is supposed to well, go. Well, probably because at that point, you just stacked up so much that they're just like, we can get someone better in here. They had never given me a warning or anything. And so... Well, uh, no offense, but a uh, call center job, I mean, I assume that has to be one of the higher turnover industries. They can probably get someone to fill your seat relatively easy. People are always looking for jobs, even though our unemployment is still close to record lows. Like, those... Low as in, like, there isn't a lot of unemployment. unemployment right. Yes, the unemployment rate. Yeah, is it's low right up, now. It's ticked up recently, but yes, yeah. it is still very low comparatively. Oh well, I. Either way, all I'm yeah. saying, even with that statistic, um, <clears throat> wherever we're at it right now, I could Google it, but mm -hmm. I don't get what what is this attitude that you have? And first of all, to be clear, we are not lawyers or anything, but just from quick googling um, from our producer. The employer has to provide reasonable accommodation if it doesn't harm the bottom line of the business. But, but since you did not tell them about it beforehand, before the meeting came of letting you go, it's hard to see you having any ground to stand on legally. But we're not lawyers. You might. And then in that case, you'd probably yeah. want to talk to an employment lawyer. And if there is a case for you, then you could probably get some money from it. So two things. Oh, I fuck. did put that I had a disability in my application. I just didn't bring it up to the training people because they are my trainers. Okay, we'll temporary. talk to a lawyer then. And talk to a lawyer then. Because, uh, I don't know. Talk to a lawyer then. But I will say this. You typed us up a whole paragraph and statement of things you want to talk about. And, I mean, a lot of it read is just blaming everything on other people instead of taking any accountability, which immediately this conversation kind of strikes me as. Like, it doesn't shock me. It, it's talking about... Well, it seems like literally everyone in your life is a bad person and nothing is your fault. Just well, from what you typed up to us. I'm over. describing my financial, like how I got into a certain financial And everything conflict. else is someone else's fault. <clears throat> everything is someone else's fault. Well, no. Like, like how are we going to... You're not going to walk with away with anything and do anything beneficial if everything is always someone else's fault and you're not t able to take accountability for anything. Well, I know that i needed okay we're gonna loop back to this let's get mm -hmm. through your finances one main financial immediately <laughs> let's talk about this oh late payment i don't have a late payment read the document the one that you sent us are you kidding me look all the way down at the bottom it's highlighted uh, late to payment um i made the payment now and it was but the first it was time. late no i didn't make it late late i don't know payment. why it says that I just got the loan and to, like yesterday was the first day I had to make a payment. Okay. You know, it was my fault. From everything that we talked about and stuff, I was ready to just jump on the moment that I saw a late payment and they just framed this in a weird way. What it was trying to say is the payment was due on the 12th and then a late payment would be the 22nd. Oh, okay. So that's my fault. Happy, unlike some people at this table, to admit when I was wrong. <laughs> I can admit when I'm wrong. 198.31 a month and this is on a six thousand hundred dollar new loan balance what is this it looks like a personal loan potentially yeah so these two were supposed to be personal loans they i didn't want to do that wait this but is a 29 percent they're both 29 percent oh, kill me they both suck what is this for to pay my rent oh both of these were to pay my rent. If people Fine. are unemployed, people lose their job, and they literally cannot find any job to sustain themselves, you're right. I have sympathy in that, and there are support systems that they pay into through their work, and I want them to get assistance. You got a job. You had a job. 
I do have sympathy that you went through a hard thing, but in terms of sympathy for the consequences of your actions, that's a little hard. Well, at the end of the day, I was just kind of like, it, it, that they're, we're not compatible. Like they're Yeah, but you needed to pay bills. Yeah, so... So as simple as that, now you're taking out 30% death insanity debt just to survive exactly so what i'm saying so you know is what's not compatible your finances and your living so we probably work there and apply like it's a full-time job on the side especially since it's remote and you're just applying to jobs applying to jobs applying to jobs and when you have something that fits your cultural needs then you jump ship well, we don't take out 30% loans to survive because we were a that little was less not happy immediate. at the job that was not immediate so um i f because I knew I was not compatible with the way they ran things at that company. And they had all, like, I was still getting calls about other people hiring and I turned them down. But that doesn't make sense. Because I should have, I should have said yes. Yeah. And I f***ed yeah. up. And I. Because you said you realized you were in a cultural fit at this job while you were getting these calls. So why, why did you turn them down? Because, well, I'm telling you I f***ed up. No, like, I know. I want to know why. Well, because I already had a job and even though it was the wrong fit, I was looking for something that paid higher. The job that I got offered paid the same. Oh, f franchise tax for what? So because I took out my, because I dissolved my 401ks, um, oh. I'm pretty sure that that is the taxes because oh. I didn't submit a 1099 form. Oh. I didn't know how. I, there was no port part for that. What was your 401k through? What was the so Fidelity? The second one with the, the job I got severance was with Fidelity. Fidelity. I use Fidelity for my taxable accounts, and then I do Moo Moo for my individual stocks. And with Fidelity, they send you a form at the end of the year or beginning of the next year for tax season. They send me the, the 1099 form. forms, but when I was filing my taxes, I didn't see a part to submit it. Oh, if you did like what did you do like TurboTax or something? What yeah, you do? I've used TurboTax and they do. They ask you questions and then they only make you submit the right forms based on the questions that you answer. You just answer the questions wrong. Now, don't get me wrong. Filing taxes for someone in your position is overly complicated than it needs to be. But even still, if you just went through the system and answered the questions correctly and you knew you had to pay, right? Even if even if they didn't say submit the form, you knew you had to pay, right? Well, they right? taxed me when I withdrew, so I was like, okay, fine. Then maybe they taxed so, it when I withdrew it. Okay, so you owe one thousand five hundred fifty-two dollars thirty-two cents. This came in December. We are three months past that. Oh, you've not done anything. I haven't been able to get in contact with them. Okay, our penalties are accruing. Let us find. Out. Don't get me wrong. The Texas Comptroller is like beyond outdated. People say Texas is business friendly, man. Uh, just to get a form from them, you have to m physically mail in something and then wait another week for them to physically mail something out. So this office is a pain in the <laughs> deal. Trust me, I know. Just trying to see. Because this is a screenshot of a piece of paper. I have it if you want it. Yeah, I want to see if there's penalties. Oh, the account balance will increase periodically due to the additional addition of penalties and interest on tax due until paid in full. It just doesn't say how much. And that is this is this balance is probably higher and it's probably just getting higher and 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 higher. Oh, she's looking for that. If you want your hammer financial score, check it out free in the description below. I have a feeling we're not going to get a great score here. You're organized. Uh, like, I love it. It's so good. It would suggest that your finances are decent. And I'm glad you're getting here. Uh, you're here to start getting help. But. Yeah. I don't but know this is. Yeah, I don't know where it is. Okay, there's no point of being organized if we can't <laughs> get the things we need. Ah, okay. Capital One. Oh, wait. It's right here. I'm going to hide this so that things aren't so it says penalties it just doesn't say what the penalties will be it's probably on their website okay and capital one balance of 34 dollars seven cents so it's, it's not really much uh you paid off the balance 
Oh my gosh. What? Well, this one I did not f this time. This is the one. Past due fee. And I ain't f one up this time. Past due fee. Yeah, but I paid it in full. I know, but you missed the payment. Be and then you went and paid it. Because I, had gone, I hadn't gone in the loans yet. Oh, so the money from the 30% loans paid on this? Well, yeah, I was trying to consolidate oh, everything. Oh, if you're taking out loans just to pay on your debt, why in the possible, possible f are you spending $227.84 going out to eat or 4.1% of your overall spending? And your miscellaneous bull and things that don't matter, $229.58 or 4.1% of your spending. Why the possible is a single cent being spent on that if you're borrowing a 30% loan to pay a past due thing on a card? Oh my gosh. And also, as organized as you are, what concerns me is when you talk to us and you're like, I have $1,000 in credit card debt. You have like $2,500 in credit card debt. Um, okay. It's like, you're yeah. you're organized to the T. You just don't know what's in your organization. No, I know. I didn't address that. Um, so I have the closed accounts. We haven't got, we haven't talked about those. Um, uh. um, but the credit cards, most of the stuff I paid with the um with the severance check and then with the four hundred one k withdrawal. A lot of that stuff. But then the one main financial I took out. You threw your 401k twice, by the way. Yes. In your life. Yes. You th you're 23 and you've drained your 401k. Sorry, 26 and you've drained your 401k That's exactly twice how already. I feel about it. I didn't want to do it, but I'm really grateful that I had it to withdraw. If I didn't, Emergency that would have ruined my credit. My family member would have ruined my credit because Emergency we didn't finish. Fund. I hadn't Emergency gone in there financially. No, because, there. because, because, let me guess. When you had the job, when you had all that stuff, you probably didn't cut back down on all your desires before you built up a six-month emergency fund, which is a requirement to get the baseline, foundation of any personal financial decent position. Well, I was so not, So you haven't like, gotten there yet. I wasn't And you probably living. didn't cut back on your because you haven't even cut back on your book now. I wasn't living like a freaking monk or minimalist. Like, if you don't have an emergency fund, and look what happens if you don't. It's worth yes. looking, living like a monk or a minimalist for a second, insulting people who sacrifice in order to get their emergency fund. Fuck off. Like, I'm not on. insulting them, but I'm just saying, like, the average person is not just going to live off, like, and guess what? The average the person in the United States can't pay a thousand dollar emergency. The average person in the United States is. You want to be the average person in the United States? You're going to no. use that the average person in the United States is f as reason for you being okay to be f That doesn't make any sense. Don't be the average person. Sacrifice. Get the baseline requirement for a decent financial future, and then you wouldn't be in the position where you're borrowing 30% on loans just to survive after you quit a job because you fell asleep at a job, then you took another job, and then you weren't culturally compatible. F you're pissing me off. I'm, I'm sorry. Kind of. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I'm, I have confusion. My emotions are testing with me. I am episode two, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, Anakin. Oh my gosh, I can't even make references to, can't even make nerdy references right now. I'm struggling so much. I'm about to go slaughter some younglings. I can't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Bank of America. Four hundred two dollars forty four cents. Purchases six hundred dollars. Let's see what those are. Five hundred dollar limit. We're at four hundred two. We spent six hundred three. Ruined my entire life now. Twenty five dollar minimum monthly payment. Fantastic. Great. Interest is accruing. Lovely. Is that my credit card? Oh, good. We're going getting some taquitos from the market. We're getting some Panda Express. Going to Ross stores. Going to Show Glow Competit. 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 Competition. Competition? You're comp competing with Glow? Glowing? Whoever <laughs> glows the most? No, it's for wellness competitions. They're posing clinics. Why'd you pay for that? Hmm? Why'd you pay for that? It's a fitness thing. Oh, yeah, that's about to be a whole thing. I 
you and your fitness, I'm all about it. Do it. It was ten dollars. Yeah. To, okay, but the okay, people, stop for no, a second. No, 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 let no, me no. finish my thoughts. No, let Good. me. F what I let me finish. So what I'm saying is that the people that are training you and teaching you there usually you have to pay three hundred dollars for each individual. Congratulations, you couldn't afford ten dollars either way. So, guess what? As we go through the statements, you go to every gym that you've ever passed by, every gym that you drive by. I bet you're on your way back to Houston. You're going to sign up for five Austin gyms before you leave the city. You have every gym subscription. Health and fitness, I'm all about it. I'll put it, in your, budget. I'll put it in your budget when you are someone who's not doing well and you're trying to get out of debt because that is important. You subscribe to every gym fitness thing ever. No. Well, we'll go through them. I might get a day pass here, but... We'll go through them. Spex is glasses, right? Spex, no, it's uh, liquor. Well, never mind. I just apparently <laughs> I don't. Since I don't drink, I just assume Spex means spectacles. <laughs> so great, yeah. Glug 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 all the time. I away. got well whiskey for sixteen dollars, and then great. I got coffee. It. Cool, can't afford that. I what can't afford like coffee. Beans? Like beans? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's okay. Yeah. But you like went and got like some coffee from there. They ground it for me there. No, oh, well that kind of sucks. You'd want to grind it right before you start your brew. Just saying, you know, I'm a, okay. com I'm a combative little be connoisseur here. I like a good bean. Okay, so, but we're not trying to spend money. What? Yeah, because if not, because I bought an espresso machine, but then I, now you have to buy like the grinder and the little thingies and all that stuff. And I'm not, I just got my beans ground. When'd you buy your espresso machine? You're not going to like it. It's an investment. Oh, shut the f up. I bought it on Black Friday. Shut the f And I got- You know it's an investment? Mr. Coffee for $40 f dollars. Oh. That's an investment because you're paying off your debt. Better Mr. Investment. Coffee. I agree, but you no, can't but, afford to survive. Okay, okay, no, no, no. I no, no, no. No, I bought it on Black Friday. It was valued at $300 and I got it for oh, $75. You can't afford I got 75. it for 75 You can't afford 75 And now you need to get the grinder. Now you need to get the beans. Now I you need to get all this I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I'm, I just got so my beans ground. So now you go to a place that'll grind your beans. Yeah, for $7. H-E-B will grind your beans for free. I love H-E-B. But Specs had whiskey... Oh, coffee great. grounds. Yeah, that's necessary. No, no, whiskey coffee grounds. Like it's a flavor. It tastes good. Verizon. That's a big one. Two thousand twenty dollars and seventeen cents in terms of a payment. Why the f you're not using something like helium for twenty dollars a month? I don't know. But what the f is this for? So I didn't. Ha I I had to discontinue my services and. I had bought devices, and so that's the remainder of the 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 cost. You leveraged devices. You took out debt for the devices. You did not buy the devices. Well, I was financing the devices. What devices? What did you get? Like the phone. Uh, phone. Yeah, you got a phone. That's not two thousand dollars a month. Huh? So I got the phone. I had gotten my dad a phone, and then uh, he didn't. He didn't like it, so he broke it uh, instead of letting me return it. What the f is he? A child? That's what I say. That's what then I Then why are say. you supporting him? Because he's living like a homeless person and I felt bad. I wanted him to be able that's to contact That's enabling. Me. That's enabling. I like that pen. But that's Thank enabling. You. And then the other thing is my watch. <laughs> it fits your aesthetic. Thanks. Oh, the watch. Oh, pull that sh out. Pull that sh out. Look what you got. You got the fucking hiking, biking watch. You've never hiked and biked a day in your life. Uh, excuse you? What the f I'm just What assuming. you mean? And yes, I do gravel bike. I like to oh, really? hike. I like to do all that outdoor stuff. That's why I, I was assuming you're all glammy with the gold pen. You, you look like a go inside, do the elliptical girl. I, you know, the I'm taking elliptical. assumptions. No. Hey, the elliptical is what I like. If I like to do any cardio. You should sprint run. I don't like to do cardio. <laughs> I think you should sprint run. That's fun. Like, no, check this out. Me. It lets right. you give you timers. And, and so you can do like 30 seconds at 12 I and don't 45 care. and I'll be honest fun. I don't give a single okay okay oh there's so much more to get through you're, you're just your situation's wild the notes we have your your life is like a interesting 
Just a quick pause in your Monday viewing experience to give you $20. Usually when you sign up for Acorns, you get $5 for signing up. But I negotiated for this month only with Acorns that you get $20 if you sign up using my link in the description below. It's literally free money and a great way to start investing. So start your Monday off in a great way and sign up using that link in the description below. You're trying to build up your credit score, but it's only 655. That's certainly better than 500, so. It was at 690, but with the two loans, it dropped. Mo. Oh, and then also we haven't gone into like the other aspect of the vehicle is that I was trying to trade it and see if the tr the negative equity would transfer over. Obviously, they're not going to transfer over like seventeen thousand dollars. Yeah, no. Sh um, so when I was looking into doing the voluntary repossession, the guy ran my credit to get the truck on its own. I got approved, but it, he ran like six reports like hard inquiries um so that got my the same speed. category right huh? no they all pull differently like they're no, no, all no. reported differently um yeah separately well well for a car loan or what personal loan? Yeah. what kind of loan was no it? for a car loan typically, like with the dealership yeah typically it would it would only count uh, i don't know let me see your report as uh, he as he if was you, running you have, it i think what is it 30 or 90 i think uh days after you apply for credit you can apply within that certain category without it just stacking up against you like he was applying to different loan providers. No, I know. But it's like if you're like shopping for a mortgage, you can apply for different mortgage. Yeah. It pulled like see. every time, like it pulled all these hard inquiries. No, that's fine. But whether or not they're all counting is different. That's like something individual. This is also credit karma though. So credit karma is going to just calculate things. Quit sh on credit karma. No, I love credit karma, okay. but they're, they're guessing. This isn't your actual credit report. Or guessing based on things that have happened. I mean, it's pretty accurate. Well, have you pulled a free credit report? Um, no. How would you know if they're accurate? What, what are you? What are you? It was literally alerting me as he was pulling those yes, inquiries. Yes, I know how credit karma works. Well, I'm just saying that sounds pretty accurate to me. No, I, yes, but it's doing its guess. It's not getting the perfect credit score. Yeah. Either way, okay, I agree. Well, with but, that. but pull what? pull your free credit. Uh, report. Where? Re what is it? It's like freecreditreport.com. Pull it. Mm -hmm. You'll get your actual credit report. Don't do it now. Do it when you have the time to sit down and go through the entire thing. Because it's a, it's a, it's a thing. But I have a job now, so. I know. We haven't talked about it yet. Because this is taking forever. Ten thousand dollars of student loans. For what? Um, I studied multidisciplinary studies in business administration, digital mm -hmm. marketing, and sculpture. One of those is not like the other? For curating. You graduated? No. In How much school? Uh, so I transferred from one u university um, and to the university that I'm in the current city that I'm in. Uh, but I didn't like... How many semesters did you do? The time frame's not accurate because I had to do... How many credit it. hours have you completed? Probably like 90. Okay. Did you do like three years of school technically i'm i'm a junior yeah but uh, then I'm covid for, hit I'm... so i had to i stopped going to school because uh, you didn't want to do remote well as an art student that's kind of stupid and then plus sure. like if I said, you're if sure like, I, educational value is yeah. not as good remote you're right um in as the end personally student, yeah. i look at college as more of an investment get your piece of paper than get your job but you're right especially for the things like that uh in person is certainly better I like school. Plus, I didn't school's like the good. university that Degrees I transferred to. Degrees are good. To. Trade school's good. Certifications are good. I like tech ones through course careers. There's a lot of good ways you can go about education. There's a lot of good ways. Right now, we have 10,272, which isn't crazy of 90 credit hours, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Are we thrilled? No. Especially at the 5% interest rate. Not like, super excited. I thought that was good. Well, I want to see 5% or like less than 5% is what I try to go for for student loans. My student loans are like 2%, so I refuse to pay them off uh, more than the middle monthly payment because, you know, my investment accounts are just like... But you're considering, if I'm not mistaken, from my notes, that you're going to school. You, you're considering going to school? Going to, back, yeah. Going back, okay. Why? Um. So, to, to finish, and... um. Also, I was considering using 
personal loan. So up to now, I've used subsidized. So interest has not accrued, especially because of COVID. Um, but with these loans that I had to take, I'm looking to transfer them to get a lower interest rate. And I don't know if that is Wait, a what? good idea. Uh, just to make sure I'm understanding, you're thinking of paying them off with student loans? To transfer it over, then I will pay the student loans. What do you mean transfer it over? I will use the, the loan money that I get, pay them, you know and then pay You know if they find that out, that could be like actual trouble for you. Because well, when they give yeah, you student loans, it's qualifying for certain things. Student loans can qualify for things related to transportation and housing, stuff like that. Well, they that it went to my housing. These are their own individual loans. Whether or not they will accept in their agreement that you are using the student loans to pay off another debt, I would doubt. Now, that relies on you getting caught, even still. And then what? How are you paying for school? If you're using well, I, all the loans to pay off the other loans? Well, I get financial aid. And then I would probably have to pay. What do you mean pay. by that? Financial aid can mean a few different things. Pell grants? Yeah. So why would you be getting, why would they approve you for student loans? I, that's how I've, I've always gone in. I've always gone and offered for the grants and then I've always gotten loan offers. How much do the Pell Grants cover? Because you have student loans right now. They cover, you like from when I was going to school, I used to, like out of pocket, I would probably have to pay like three, less than 3,000 out of pocket. Okay. How can you do that? You're taking out student. You're taking out loans to pay your credit card minimums. Um, so how are you paying three thousand dollars? I would do both. Huh? I would probably get like I would get offers to probably for like probably like twenty thousand, and I would only take the subsidized loans. Buddy, no offense, but I don't think you know what your plan is here with actually it's an paying, option with paying for the three thousand dollars because you literally drained your 401k the second time to pay off five thousand dollars in uh, tickets i'm buy, i'm trying to buy time because if they would be deferred and well some five thousand dollars worth of tickets and you drained your 401k for that how are you paying for three thousand dollars out of pocket for school with the loans student loans you said the student loans were paying off these loans but i so, get more than that fuck, so this is debt for debt for debt for debt but at five percent interest versus twenty thousand dollars in tickets huh oh yeah so like happen like you said when you were talking sh that i don't That's take I do. no you said i don't take responsibility but also as a child like how am i if my parents didn't set me up for success how am i supposed to be operate successfully you know oh, what good i mean God. are we about to have the excuse again where oh i didn't learn anything from my parents so i'm incapable of doing anything like that's what that's what i didn't on say show. i'm incapable i didn't i would well, trust me my parents were financially the vast majority of my life i'm I, i'm very proud of them and happy that after i left to go to college my dad's small business started to pick up and my mom's nursing career started to do well and they actually live a good life now but the vast majority of my life no, it was a struggle. If we wanted to go out to eat, it was something special. It was something special. I didn't learn budgeting. Their first financial tip for me when I was 18 was take out a credit card to buy a piano that I wanted. Good so for you. This At least you had that. At least you had that. Oh, shut the f What I am saying is that is not an excuse for my failures. I then Who went out of my address? way. No, no. I then went out of my way to learn what it took at to 16, fix my life to get out of at debt. At 16, 17, 18. That's when you got these tickets? Yes. Because no one taught me how to drive. My, do my dad literally told me to go pick up a car. And then he was like, go drive it back to the city you're Why you're didn't in. you ask like a counselor at school? They're supposed to teach you how to drive? No. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you ask a counselor at school? Hey, my parents will teach me how to drive. How can I learn how to drive? I didn't know to do that. Okay. That's okay. But that's okay. So it goes back to he. I don't was think giving enough people approach their counselors for things that they probably shouldn't need. I know I didn't. I should have. So that's fine. Um, obviously, I would have loved you to, you know, take a bus to driving school or something. That's what I would have preferred. So you ended up just picking up a car. Yeah, he gave me a car. He has a auto shop, um, but it had oh. black plates, and they're not supposed to drive them like 10 miles away from the dealership i didn't know that and then i kept getting stopped obviously okay well first of all what the f after one stop that's it they then. didn't tell me they what? were just giving me um no tickets for no insurance and then for 
the vehicle not being under my name. And then did you get insurance to get the vehicle under your name? Um, I did. My dad wouldn't help me to get the vehicle okay, under so my name. Okay, so why did you continue to drive it, though? You knew that was incorrect because and you were I facing had, penalties. Because I so, had school full time and I had three jobs. Mm -mm. So you know that I, I find it valid. Okay. You didn't know you could talk to the counselor. Your parents are not helping you. And your dad said, hey, go do this. And you took the advice of your dad. That's great. You do that. But after the cop tells you, here is a ticket that you now owe. Congratulations. You're in trouble with the law because of this, that, and this. You don't then go do this, that, and that. And all of a sudden, the excuse is no longer valid because you learned your lesson and you chose to continue. So it wasn't until Marf when I went to go to Marfa that the border patrol agent that stopped me there told me about the black plates and made me aware of why i kept getting stopped so i i had already gone in several tickets from that time but it doesn't it doesn't matter though because you still didn't take care of what was necessary that you're getting tickets i for didn't when you know stopped. how my dad had no, 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 the you car didn't know why name. you were getting pulled over but they still told you you need insurance and it needs to be under your name. That's what I'm saying. I didn't have the ability to do that. No, but you knew that you were getting car. in trouble for it. Yeah. So you don't, regardless if you know how to then fix the situation, which by the way, Google, but regardless, if you don't know how to fix the situation, you still knew that's why you were getting tickets. So stop, boss. You live in a major metro. No, 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 no. I was going to school at, in a border city and okay. the transportation there, the public transit. I did what have city? to take it in Laredo. Okay. Well, Laredo is one of the bigger ones. No, the buses. Oh, the okay. Cities, yeah. Because so the time chain on my, on the car sure. ended up busting. Well, the, I, I'm not going to assume Laredo. I don't know their public transportation. Oh, what I'm saying I know is a little better. E eventually I didn't have a car to drive and I didn't like arguing with my dad. So I just bought a bike from um, Walmart and I was riding it until literally like the seat fell off, the handlebars fell off and then I tied it up and then it got stolen. Okay. And I was literally like running 12 miles from my house to school. Listen, I, I feel sympathy, but this is, again, if you know you're breaking the law, it doesn't mean that you're allowed to just continue doing it. And the cop has to tell you why they are giving you a ticket. They have to they said they only described they didn't tell me why they were stopping me yeah. i didn't know the black plate it, but again issue. that doesn't matter it doesn't i don't give a why they were stopping you they told you why they were giving you a ticket yes and yet you still did the thing because i didn't that, know how to fix doesn't matter. it doesn't matter doesn't matter you still chose to do it and also yes i didn't need to drive click, 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 click. oh look i just googled it well at that time i was a completely different person no, I mean, that's fair. I, for, to an extent, that is fair. You know, we, I am beating up your past a, a bit, a bit. Um, and I have been very open and honest on this show that my past is filled with a lot of troubled things, a lot of f***ed up, uh, you know, f***ing up, and just a lot of stupid things, not treating people well, and just all this stuff. And that does not define me today. What happened a decade ago? What happened five years ago doesn't define me today. What happened 15 years ago doesn't define me today. Same with you. Same with you. So I will stop beating you up for this. What you are today is all that defines you. What you decide to do from here is all that defines you. My main purpose of bringing up the ticket thing is because since you had to drain your 401k to pay for the $5,000, that's why I'm concerned. Like, how are you going to, in the future now, pay for this $3,000 uh, for school? And I guess you said for student loans. So we can move on. Yeah. You're under the... Uh, a oh. PSFL program, P PSLF program. I always say it wrong. Yeah, that that's how right now it is. The loans are deferred for 12 months. So basically I have 12 months 12 to months figure end. out. So. It should say it on there. Um, but around January. But I have 12 months to figure out what to do with them. If I go back to school, they will continue to be deferred. So that's also another reason why I wanted to go back. Because before all of this, when I was in San Antonio... No, don't go back to school just because it continues to firm. That's stupid. Yeah, but it also goes... $10,000 isn't like an insane amount of money. It's like 100 bucks a month. And if you are actually properly yes. working, that is not a make well, or break. What I was going to say is when I had the job and when I was in San Antonio, I was already getting ready to pay these back. Okay, you owe an energy company. Yes. And... It was 200 and then because I disconnected, they added a $200 disconnect Why have you not paid it? And when was this? Um, I don't know. And like, I just- $402, 18 cents. Let me yeah. just try to get through your finances, my goodness. Whew. Synchrony. Didn't we yes. already do synchrony? No. Great. So- 
You have nothing available to spend. You're over the credit. No, balance, those are you? closed. They oh. closed because when I was unemployed. Good. Not good. Those are my favorite. That's you know that's the stupidest thing you've ever said in your entire life. What do you mean? You're that, that for a credit card? Yeah. Buddy, they're taking advantage of you. You're not even taking advantage of it. You are not a credit card person. I don't give a sh. That's what your favorite I don't believe credit that. card is. You're getting what do you mean? You're getting what do you mean? Do you see that late fee that just happened? What do you mean? One you late fee. Okay, calm down. And one I could have called to get it taken get, off. Late fee is one late fee is all it takes to not be a credit card person. You failed it. Interest were accruing on two cards. Because you failed I was it. Unemployed. Your credit cards were closed. You failed it. I was unemployed. Yes, because you didn't sacrifice previously in order to have a full and kiss fun. someone's and ass. To have a kiss Shut someone's you? ass. Stop interrupting me. And mm. You didn't have an emergency fund. That, you yeah. had an emergency fund. Yeah. You could have paid for that. If yeah. you didn't quit a job without a backup, you could have paid. Why it. are you if slamming you the table? If you didn't, because that's what that's what I do. That's why. That's, that's, welcome to me. No, you, you don't like when people slam on the table. Why are you slamming on it? My show, my rules. Navigating through retirement plans can feel like a maze. Believe me, I get it. That's where today's sponsor, Capitalize, comes in. A free concierge platform to find and transfer your old retirement accounts into an IRA of your choice. Capitalize stands alone as the retirement savings solution dedicated to making your money transitions as smooth as butter. They manage your entire rollover from start to finish, tracking and adjusting your retirement plan for life. Forget the old ways and long and complicated 401k rollovers. With Capitalize, you avoid the endless calls, complicated documents, and the hassle of mailing checks. So here's a crazy fact. The average American risks losing $700,000 over a lifetime by neglecting their 401k. Capitalize is here to change that. All you need to do is tell them about your old account and if you're unsure, they will help you locate your 401k and choose the best IRA. And after a few quick clicks, your old retirement account is now an IRA you control. The best part about Capitalized is it's online, easy, and absolutely free. Their experts are in your corner offering unbiased recommendations for your IRA options. Click the link in the description below and see if it makes sense to roll over your old 401ks and secure your financial future today. And then you're also fired from a job because you fell asleep, which is a very reasonable position for a company to fire someone. Synchrony. So One thousand. Those oh. are emergency credit cards. Those are emergency credit cards, and that's why I like them. But I wasn't paying on time, so they did close me out. Emergency fund. One thousand three hundred twenty-three dollars forty-five cents. Where is Rosa? Huh? Where is Rosa? Uh, hanging out with our video editors. <sighs> Mika really likes dogs. So do I. I wish she was in here, but it's okay. With do you want to hear about that poor decision? Oh, sure. So sure. that, that, so prior to all of this, I was on track. I was paying everything. I was doing good, but I had made a lot of poor financial decisions. Rosa was one of them. She was $6,000. Really? Well, I love her. She's awesome. Um, selfishly, I'm glad you did it. Financially, for you, I'm it's sorry. stupid, yeah. I don't regret it. I love her. No, it's... Again, I wouldn't do it again. Sure. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. But I, I mean, Dong, man's best friend? Yeah. Wouldn't regret that. You have pup insurance? No. I'd get dog insurance because something happens to Rosa, it's going to cost thousands of dollars. What a well, that's what that card was for because... That's not how that... That's no, not no, how no. That no. Let me tell you the story because she bit my inhaler and then she got albuterol poisoning and that cost me two grand. Yeah, get dog insurance would it cost you 200. <laughs> Who else would like to die right now? Just me? Oh, calm down. I'm not even the worst person on here. Six hundred ninety-seven dollars eighty-eight cents. And so those are on auto draft, but the interest is yes. literally like half. Yes. Welcome to credit cards, and why you, Sue? You should never Don't, use them. I am a credit card person. I pay them. I just got unemployed. You know what? I feel no desire to continue this conversation. You just said you're a credit card person. I think so. Yeah. I have all the other credit cards that I have uh, that are paid off. They they are two of them were accruing interest and one had a late payment. So shut the no f ones that you didn't see. Those are at zero. There's a checking account here. 
with a bunch of bullshit spending. There's you getting kicked off a lift. Why are you kicked off a lift? There's all this extra stuff. You're spending $200 a month on various gyms. For you know, just, There's so much more we could go through that's just absolutely ridiculous. But the fact you just said that is a joke. Look at you. What is that smirk? What is that smirk? You're being dramatic. You're being oblivious if you think you're a credit card person. Oblivious to your reality. And the fact that you consider yourself a credit card person, the fact that you made so many excuses for so many things and it sounds like you're going to make dumb sh decisions with your schooling, I have zero confidence in what can I do to help you going forward. I don't know. This is upsetting. Going through getting some Thai market, suits by Jody, taquitos, cash apping out money, you cash apping out money, a vending machine. You don't want to Shut know? the f a Apple, taquitos, you didn't get cash, shut up! Apple, cash app, cash app, Clarny and something, Starbucks, taquitos. Gian. Oh my gosh, what? What do you want? I'm just trying to read some documents. <laughs> I Good sh Is this I how any conversation with you is? I Clarna Sheehan. Thanks for interrupting me for that. That was <laughs> necessary. What did you spend $1,384 on Walmart for? Rent. From Walmart? Yeah, Wait, I get what? the money order. Starbucks, Church's Chicken. Very necessary when we can't afford our bills and have to take out 30% debt in order to make a $25 minimum monthly payment on our <laughs> credit card. That, that This is so smart, guys. Taquitos. Taquitos. <laughs> you do keep the change transfers all the time, but guess what? Your balance is too low, so it didn't allow you to cash app out money. Apple money out. It's a Keto's. Some tostada. Tostada. <laughs> Apple. Cash sent out. Keep the change transfer. We're transferring it, but it all comes back in. There is one of the gyms. There is one of the gyms. We had one of the gyms on the last one, and Henderson Kane and cash app and out. Henderson Kane. Cash app and out. That might just be a repeat. Uh, from your screenshots. Vietnam Kitchen, Vietnam Kitchen, Vietnam Kitchen, oh, oh, oh. dumplings. Oh my gosh, I'm turning into George. That was a George sound, kill me. What is my life? Street food, taquitas, another gym. Oh, oh. Cash app and out $25, maintenance fee. The laughter is pissing me off. These are your, these are your up decisions and you're laughing about it? Shut the f Oh my God. What? Have you ever had anyone in your life sit you down and actually give you any sense of reality? Ever? No. Yeah, that's apparent as f Well, I'm sorry I didn't have that. But then come into this conversation and just f take it in so that you can improve your life and then instead of just sitting there like a smug bad word. Well, you're just a little dramatic. Selling out money. Keep the change, couldn't be transferred. Because you had nothing in there. Cash well, app and out money. Really Shut the f up. Let me get through the document for f sake. Little Caesars. Taquitos. Taquitos. People are going to think I'm being so mean in this episode, but they just have no idea what it's like to say right here. Oh, they have no idea. He is mean. Huh? I said he is mean. Savings has a little bit of money. It was mostly from the thing that you did took out the loan, so it's just sitting there. And I have a thousand dollars in this Chase account. Great. They're taking out the loans. Stupid. You threw my pen. No, don't pick up her pen. Yeah, don't pick, pick up, up her my pen. pen. She's, you pick up my pen. Capable, you dropped it. You're capable of doing anything. Okay. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. Now you can pick up both of our pens. Uh, you're, 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 shut the f up. What? The f do I do with you? <laughs> what was that stare? That's the, I don't know what the f I do with this creature in front of me. Look. What kind of creature am I? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just losing my mind in this conversation. <laughs> it's not even that bad. It's like a quarter oh, okay. of some of the other people. You know, it's not about that. It's about your actions and what you're doing. I had no choice. It. I giggled for a second. I was happy for a second. And you just... You just but I had no thing. choice. Honestly. Okay. I'm sorry. I hate to do this. People think it's for drama. I, 
that there I can't get past that. I can't get past that. And yes, this is a real fucking human being. There are actually somehow people like you out in this world and it's insane. I don't know how we're even surviving as an economy and culture. This is crazy. I'm going to pet your dog to calm myself down, but no, I would like no. you to leave this studio. I'm going to go in the other room and just like get on my phone and like melt away from this insanity. This was a fucking joke. You're being a fucking joke. And I'm being an insulting little right now because I'm pissed. The fact that you can't, after all that, you couldn't wake up to anything. Go. Okay. I'm done. Let's save it for the post show. Let's say hi. Oh, yeah. Today on the financial audit post show. You asked me a question. I'm trying to answer you. Okay, Absolute go. creature. She says, uh, you know, you, uh, I don't know how to use credit cards. Maybe, maybe you just don't use the credit cards since you don't know how to use them. And you're like, I don't know how to use that. credit cards. I'm really good with credit cards. I you're not. Huh? I think I am. Oh, there it is. There it is. To watch the financial audit post show, click the join button below.